Hey everyone, John here with the Active Towns channel and I am here in Austin, Texas. I'm gonna head on down to the Parton Springs Road for the first day, first morning of the new pilot project. So let's go check it out. Okay, I'm on AZ Morton uh, approaching Barton Springs Road here. Off to the left is the Barton Creek and Zilker Park. And this section of Barton Springs Road has just been restriped for a Vision Zero project to create a little safer environment for everyone. Um, the, the road had previously been four lanes with center turn lanes and high speed traffic, 35 miles per hour zone and vehicles traveling in excess of 45 to 50 miles per hour. And now we have a new striping pattern. So let's go check it out. Hello. And you can see here at the bus stop, we have a transition up onto a raised platform that uh, prevents the bus from blocking our lane. And we're able to uh, be able to make our way through. Obviously, if uh, people are alighting and boarding a bus, we would need to yield to them, but uh, it gets us up out of the roadway, roadbed in that particular area. You'll notice in this section, this is the only area where there is parking on Barton Springs Road in this stretch. And it's very comfortable over here. It's very wide. I do not feel as if I'm in the door zone at all, which is really nice. And now we're approaching Kinney. And this is another crossing area that's really uh, a, a critical safety issue for people coming down Kinney, trying to get across Barton Springs. So this will be very, very nice to see for this crosswalk be much safer. And then we lose our buffered area, our protection, and go back to a temporary situation of just a painted bike lane for this stretch up to Lamar. I say temporary because eventually Lamar is going to get completely redesigned. When that gets redesigned, all of this should also be redesigned. And you can see a rather nasty mixing zone area for us. We'll navigate through here. And we'll get to the other side and then come back the other direction. All right, we'll go set up over on the other side here. As you can see, we're now on Barton Springs Road, looking westbound at Lamar. You can see a little bit of uh, concrete work up ahead. Looks like that will be a future transit stop up there where you see the lane ends merge to the left. We will actually be going up onto a raised platform there, similar to what we saw over on Barton Springs Road further to the west right at uh, Barton Boulevard there. Okay, here we go. And up we go. What you'll notice along this stretch of Barton Springs Road is lots of stores, lots of restaurants. Here's the beloved Tom's Market. I had my breakfast tacos there this morning. Very nice. And this really makes a huge difference 
this feels very very comfortable being able to ride now on this stretch of road and as you can see the traffic volumes on barton springs road just really do not demand and dictate having so many lanes of traffic uh, it's quite comfortable now to feel like a there's less traffic because there's fewer motor vehicles and the motor vehicles are traveling at slower speeds this uh, pilot installation also includes a reduction in speed trying to calm this area down this is a high injury network injury and crash area and again you saw the red concrete there indicating that that was a bike area one of these days we'll figure out how to do red asphalt but uh, this asphalt gets laid out in huge volumes and so being able to have one little section little in quotations is rather difficult but uh, this works out well okay it looks like they are doing some work up here so we may have to kind of maneuver our way around this is again the first morning of this so they may be doing some adjustments so that's understandable we'll just merge over again very very light motor vehicle traffic we're past the morning rush hour although you saw that uh, i do have some video from that early morning rush but this is brand new right here we are able to have a bike lane a little bit of a buffer eventually we'll get a little protection in there as well over the barton creek bridge that's huge we've needed that for a long time what i'm going to do is take us down to the trail okay we're on the other side of uh, the barton creek bridge here along barton springs road and you can see the new signage here right lane ends and also a new speed limit dropping people down to 30 miles per hour you can also see that the bike lane the on-street bike lane um, merges onto this shared use path and uh you can see that uh, this also by the way brings you into zilker park here uh, but it'll eventually be a shared use path here uh, continuing down through the park zilker park uh, but as you can tell and not part of the pilot project that is the treatment on barton springs road um, they the people on bikes are going to have to merge up into the park and then make their way forward where they're wherever they are going um, right now looks like you're just gonna ride on the dirt or if your destination is the park you're there or you can drop down to the creek path down below you can take the creek path directly to Barton Springs pool reason I'm taking us down to the trail is I want to show you uh, how to get to Barton Springs Pool because many people who are on their bikes on scooters skateboarding whatever even pedestrians up on Barton Springs Road are wanting to get to Barton Springs Pool and so this is the back route the bike and pedestrian route to get to both the Barton Springs Pool as well as the Barton Springs Spillway and Creek. This little dirt path right here takes you to the creek and takes you to the spillway, whereas this pathway takes us to the actual Barton Springs Pool main entrance. So let's go check it out. Another destination is right here, the uh, canoe and kayak and sups rental place you'll also see this little uh train track to my left 
and that is the oh gosh what are they calling this now <laughs> i think it's called the zilker express now so it's been a train that has been out of operation for a little while and uh, will be coming back into operations they've uh, had a little bit of a transition they have a new vendor and a new train so the kids are excited that the uh, the little train for zilker park will be back right down here is the spillway probably can't see that really well and the barton springs pool and the playgrounds picnic areas we also have the eliza spring here where our protected salamander blind salamander lives down in there and again our main entrance to the barton springs pool here and so i wanted you to see that i wanted you to see how seamless it is to be riding on that brand new restriped barton springs road delivering you to the barton springs pool via the trail and not having to deal with any motor vehicles whatsoever delivering you here to the pool the other thing i want to show you is something that's a personal favorite of mine which is the entrance to the green belt um, Many of you have probably seen some of my videos that I've shot of me running in the green belt. Well, this is this is the route I take. This is how I get to the green belt trailhead, which is right up here near the uh, recently con constructed bathrooms and water fountain area, which you'll see off to the right here in just a moment. There it is the new-ish bathroom facilities, water fountain, and then right here is the trailhead. The only pet peeve that I have about this whole scenario here is that the Parks Department has not yet installed any bike racks here near the trailhead, which would be very much appreciated. There's actually a bike station here, so, you know, step one is done. We've got the bathrooms, the water, but we would really appreciate some uh, bike racks here too. I do walk my bike up down this way or back up this way at uh, the pool, the main pool entrance, which honestly is probably safer anyways. Probably more eyeballs on my bike uh, when I'm locked up over here. So it's not that big of a deal. I don't mind it. It's just one of those little niggles that kind of irritates me that uh, they didn't think to put bike parking at the bathrooms bike parking at the trailhead but as you can see we have lots and lots of bike racks here of the appropriate design there we go and uh, they are oftentimes very well used but as you can see lots of people are driving here which is an irritation Okay, let's head back to the critical pedestrian crossing up at Barton Springs Road. We'll pick up uh, when we get back to the main trail. Okay, we are back on the trail here along Barton Creek. You can see the train tracks here to the right. And we're gonna go under Barton Springs Road. You can see that up above here. We'll go under the bridge and we're going to go over the bike and ped bridge which is an alternative to being up on the roadbed at all and I'm going to take you to my typical crossing um, I have used this crossing at least two or three times if not more per week and when Barton Springs Road was in its historical configuration over the last I don't know two or three decades it's been four lanes and you know how dangerous it is to have a crossing a crosswalk with four lanes of traffic ok 
Okay, so we made it over the bridge and we're gonna head on up to Barton Springs Road here. And again, this is the intersection for AZ Morton. And we'll see the, uh, the guys working on, it looks like they're probably working on the lights. They've got the uh, electrical panels lifted up. Sort of working on that. They are working on and currently blocking their brand new bike lane that they created, but it does look like they're working on some of the signal electrical functions. And this up here is that crossing I've been talking about. Again, I cannot tell you how many times I've nearly been killed trying to get across this particular crosswalk here. And oh, by the way, painting for this crosswalk will likely be in within the next 24 hours or so. But it's these motorists are supposed to be yielding for me. They are not. And the problem was really accounting when you had four lanes of traffic, the one lane would yield for me and then the other would not, thereby nearly taking me out. So this is a huge, wonderful enhancement improvement. Again, this whole project it is a Vision Zero project because this was a notorious high-speed high risk, high crash corridor that needed to be addressed. Unfortunately, we had a fatality right across the way there at Ola Mode. The Thai style ice cream right there where an aggressive, out of control driver crashed into another vehicle, ricocheted off and then hit some people who were in line at the ice cream truck there. Very, very tragic. Really highlighting the fact that this street had no business being such a high-speed corridor. So, huge improvement. Kudos to the Vision Zero team getting this addressed and taken care of. Well done, folks. And again, we'll have zebra crossings across here very soon. Hey, thank you all so much for uh, tuning in and watching this particular video of the new pilot project on Barton Springs Road here in South Austin, Austin, Texas. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and share it with a friend. And if you haven't done so already, I'd be honored to have you subscribe to the channel. Just click on that subscription button down below and ring the notifications bell. And if you are enjoying this content, please consider joining my Active Towns ambassadors, uh, supporting me on Patreon, buy me a coffee. Uh, hey, click that button right down below for the YouTube super thanks as well as making donations to the nonprofit. Hey, every little bit adds up and is much appreciated. Thank you all so much. And until next time, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me a Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much. <laughs>